What's up, Slackers? Uh, figure I'd do a, a nice video since I'm here at Gamers Nexus, and this is we're getting ready for tomorrow. This is kind of a thing we do every single time we do a stream. Spreadover can be kind of a pain just to kind of work with. For instance, any time that I put in a chip or take out a chip and put a chip back in or just mounting, uh, there's a bunch of issues that happen and occur. Um, you can see right here that, that I have a basically a Threadripper, 64 core, 128 threads of madness right here. But one of the things that I keep seeing just by working with the 32 core and the 64 core is sometimes I'll mount it and all of a sudden, it doesn't work. So there's a couple of things like most people will get paranoid and be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna take that thing back. We're probably making a bunch of people very nervous right now, but um, yeah. So if you're having an issue, something like this, eh, calm down, it's gonna be okay. Uh, you got to be patient with stuff like that. So, I mean, I've been doing this for years, but you just got to be patient and kind of think logically and stuff like that. So what I did is I kind of played around with it at first to move the pot around. I, I put a pot on it first to get it kind of organized. You can just put a cooler and have a cooler on there just to kind of, um, I don't know, play around with it. But uh, so one of the issues is we can't boot. So what do you do? So Threadripper has this weird kind of issue as far as uh, the mounting mechanism. So there's actually three screws there. If you, uh, we can actually probably take out the top. Oh, uh, so you'll see, you have one, two, and three. Usually they're marked, but we've been mounting and unmounting several times now. But yeah, so the thing is, the trick here is to get the mounting pressure just right. What that means is that I'm gonna have to maybe torque certain sections down. Let me go a little bit more on the side. You don't want to go too crazy, but you want to have it so that way there's enough pressure. So I'm just going to put that pop down just for a little bit and we're going to try again. Nope, still nothing. What I'm going to do is just move the pot over a little bit. Usually it's the two screws over here. You'll see some funny... Oh, look at that. It just turned on. It's magic. No. So I'm going to turn it off real quick because obviously the zero, zero, it's not dead. Most people, back in the day when you used to see this, you know, that that was basically, yep, you're going to have to go to the store and get some uh, new product because uh, you're dead. So, but no, that's not, if you get that issue, you are, you're pretty much fine. You just got to play with it a little bit. So again, I'm just going to tighten it up maybe a little bit more, make sure, and then I'm going to go back and test again, see if I can get anything. It's going to be, keep on going to zero, zero, turn it off. I'm going to try to tighten the other side a little bit. Just do small little quarter turns. And look at that. It's magic. So you'll see that now it's booting. It's as simple as that. The other thing is, is that what I've noticed is Threadripper is basically a quad channel, which means there's four memory modules that go directly to the IMC on the actual chip itself. So that means it's, they call it quad channel. On something like a 3950X or uh, lower on the AMD lineup, they're usually dual channel, which means you have two memory modules. Well, a lot of the time, if you don't have that pressure correctly, what, ha what will happen is basically you'll lose modules. So like, for instance, these are this is 32 gig of memory. Sometimes you only see 24 gig, stuff like that. So if you're dropping channels or having issues, check your mount. Make sure the pressure is even and all around. And that will pretty much uh, save the day. So... We just saved ourselves about what, four grand? <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, that's the pro tip. And uh, if you guys like it, everything, you know, that little button down on the side, you basically uh, subscribe, like it. You know, if you don't like it, dislike it too. I don't really care. Whatever you're into. Uh, if you guys have any other videos, ideas, and kind of tips you guys are want to see, you know, let it put it down in the uh, comment section and let me know what's going on. So, I don't know. I'm going to go get back to uh, a little li liquid nitrogen action, and uh, I'll see you next time. Slagger out. <laughs> All right, we'll try that again.